Not to be confused with the camber that is associated with suspension geometry, camber of the road surface should be taken into account, particularly when cornering. Positive camber, where the road is sloped towards the inside of the corner, can help the car maintain traction and higher cornering speeds can be achieved. Adverse camber, where the road surface is sloped away from the inside of the corner, tries to force the car away from the apex and the racing line, so lower speeds are often required. Although most corners have positive camber, a series of corners changing from one direction to the other, where the camber of the road also changes can be challenging, and you must ensure that the car gets out of the apex of one corner, over the crown of the centre of the road, and into the apex of the next corner. In some extreme cases, the camber is so severe that the car will jump across the road as it moves from one side to the other. Make sure you place the car in the correct position on the road so that you are making the most of the camber.